I'm gonna see how high I can start jumping in like 32 days. I had this goal, I'm gonna put it up right here. I've been wanting to do this for like a long ass time. Get a two hand dunk on 10 feet, a off the glass dunk on 10 feet, and a windmill on 10 feet. It's gonna be hard. Yeah, hopefully we can just hit one of them. Yeah, I'll check that on day two. I'll see y'all. It's day two. I literally just woke up, like right now. Went downstairs so I could do this plyometric workout. Done. It's a workout. It's day two and I just want to like flip over and just... That's just how it goes. You gotta stay disciplined until the end. If it doesn't work out, well, at least you try. Nobody can blame me if you tried. Bro, I literally just dunked. I, I literally just did a two-hand foot on... Bro, it's like seven o'clock and it's day four and I don't, I, it's day four and I don't feel like doing this shit. These couple of days should be the easiest because like motivation, but I'm just tired. And I have to go do plyometrics. I'll see you. All right, so it's day eight, I think. And I didn't record the previous days because I was sick and I had two games back to back. So I couldn't even do a workout. So those are like technically my rest days. I don't have a Vermax, but I got these bands. I got these bands, they're like 40 pound resistance, 30 pound resistance, 50 pound resistance, but. <sighs> Show down my ass, so look. I step out a little bit and it's pulling me back, but it's also pulling me down. And you just jump. You just keep jumping. I did a hundred today, right now, with a medicine ball too. You can, the only way you're gonna jump higher is if you keep jumping. We gotta keep jumping. Let's go, let's go, let's go. My ceiling is like nine feet, and if I can hit my head on the ceiling, that means that I'm fucking goaded. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how great I am! Great I am! Great I am! This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. I'm gonna show you how great I am! Yeah. I was really thinking to myself, I was like, and I could never even like fathom hitting my head on the on the top of it. Like I never thought about that. And it just goes to show that if you really believe in yourself and you really think that you can do it, you can actually like go somewhere with that. I think that's what I was missing for the past six months, the past year of my dunk journey. I'd always tell myself, no, I can't dunk, no, I can't dunk, no, I won't dunk, I can't do this. People were telling me that I couldn't dunk. 
I was being told that you should stop trying to dump, you stop trying to dump, you all that bullshit, that you won't be able to do this. But if you really dedicate yourself and you really like envision yourself, because if you really envision yourself doing it, then it'll come to you just naturally. Like the purpose of being an athlete for me is to jump high and to see how high I can like actually jump. That's what I've been in love with since I was little. If you really devote yourself to that and devote yourself to what you want to do, then you'll just take it to the like, next level further. Like, I didn't think I was gonna dunk in like, when I was in eighth grade, when I was in ninth grade, I never thought I would actually like get a dunk in. <sighs> but I just keep proving myself wrong. And once I started believing in myself, I started seeing the results. So yeah, we just gotta keep going.